Welcome in guys to another Walking Dead Road to Survival video. This is your boy Just Call Me Tax. I'm back and we are going to get ready to go over my build guide for John. Now, I think that John is a slept on leader and if you built him right, he can be one of your main tunes as a lead that's going to help your attack team out so let's go ahead and get into this as you know john is a part of the saviors group and what john has is all teammates get 40 percent attack at the start of each turn i mean each wave three random enemies get 100 percent affection for three turns now the type of team that you're going to try to build with john is an infection team you will not want to build a pure you know uh, offensive team with him because that's just not how he's set up and sometimes i see people trying to build him that way but i build him a little bit differently and we're going to go ahead and look at how john is built and look at a team that you can construct using john with free-to-play players as well too now this team is not the end-all be-all team so you will have to have other setups as well but this is one team that could be effective against uh, teams that you're coming up against, especially those teams that are on the lower end and that don't have a bunch of heavy heels that are going around and things of that nature. So if they have a bunch of heels and stuff, John may not be as effective. It may take a little bit longer, but you can still be able to use him as your leader. So if we go ahead and go through his skills, what makes John special is he has the hunting attributes so for example those 60 percent chances to stun now goes to 30 percent chance to stun and this is going to be able to help out because you're going to be using john to be able to attack those guys with those stun weapons and if you notice john is blue most of the players that you want to face against are going to be red tombs therefore the red tombs have all these high powered stun weapons this is going to help combat that now next he has disease protection when an enemy receives infection 80 percent chance a random teammate gets guardian shield this is crucial now what's going to happen is see if you put an attack tune in this team that does a lot of damage like say if you have a sophia or you have a hang in which is free to play when you know infection is out there that guardian shield's gonna go up and it's gonna help combat against if you tack like a tune that has vengeance or something of that nature so that guardian shield when it's applied it's gonna be absolutely crucial this is what makes him really good he has very good passives as well now next potent strain when infection is cleansed from an enemy 50 percent chance they get 100 percent infection for two turns so what does this look like you have tunes such as jesus 2k who is out there in the field he gets infection then he cleanses it so what's going to happen he's going to have a two turn infection right after he cleanses that so and this goes for any tune that cleanses. if you have somebody that cleanses an effect from a tune for two turns they had infection on them they're going to reapply affection with this passive for two turns this is really big because it's going to help you be able to try to get rid of these guys within the first two to four five turns of combat so as you can see john's passives are very very good and on top of that he's also a leader now where john shine is in his signature move and his rush so with his signature move one turn cool one turn um two turn cooldown it is unlimited a line of enemies get 75 percent heal reduction that's gonna play into the infection why because if he has a hundred percent infection they get 75 percent heal reduction that means they can't heal a hundred percent in order to get rid of that infection so that's going to play big with how the infection is going to work now um also on top of that for two turns if they have infection right they're gonna get that heal reduction and targets without it will get infection for two turns right instead so if they don't have it remember in the beginning of combat he's already given three random enemies 100 percent infection for three turns right so those who don't have it will also get that infection um as well for two turns and he's gonna do a little bit of damage to that line of enemies so that's 400 damage that's going to be dealt to that specific line of enemies now 
on top of that this biological warfare is very good so all teammates is going to get 25 percent attack that's going to give you a little bit of boost if you have save allegiance teammates they're going to get 40 percent attack for each enemy with an infection status for three turns so if you have five enemies that have an infection status on the other team you're going to get 25 percent attack per each tune that has infection so you really don't have to bring in a super strong attack team for this because what's going to happen is when he rush it's going to give the little guys that you have around him boost and i'm going to show you the team setup that you can use like i said it is not a super fast one turn team it is two to three turns two to four turns depending on the setup and you can be able to use this as well too so that infection is going to happen and he's going to deal 600 percent damage to an enemy so let's go ahead and look at what i have for john's kit here for his combat mods so we have some attack here um 20.1 percent the highest you can get if it's not in paragon is 25 percent so 20.1 percent is pretty good next here we have 55 percent days here because why you want him to be able to do his signature move and if you happen to use him against a blue leader you know such as slasher alpha you want to try your best to avoid that um days coming in because you want him to be able to go off a little bit of ap drain because we're not trying to use him as a super big control you know killer monster killer like a shane or something like that we want him to be there for infection and control and guardian shields so this is what we have there and then we have some attack the tough and an imperasis why because you need him to rush he has a lot of power within his rush so that's what you want to be able to do and now we're going to go to the team and look at the weapon in which we have put on john so the weapon that we have on john here is going to be none other than the marcus weapon that we had a little while ago and this weapon here gives you elusive impair and 1535 it's just to give a little bit of attack boost do you have to go 1535 you do not but i'm going 1535 because the person i have next to john right and we have a 50 percent attack this was the marcus thompson from a little while ago and next on this team is roadie why do i have roadie on here because roadie is going to apply burn so yes they may have burn protection but roadie is it very very good and she could start her own burn cycle she can increase her own burn and she is a savior teammate so john is going to give her that 40 percent attack boost so what's going to happen is when you see those blue tunes on the other team that's mixed in with some of the red leaders john goes off Rody has a extra let's say 150 percent attack she's going to crush some stuff on the other end and everything like that so you'll have those guardian shields coming in from the infection and Rody is going to be really good right there by his side now who could i substitute in for Rody? you don't have to use Rody. you can use hangin in this spot as well you can use rf who you can get from the gold mythic well those are guys who add a little bit of attack power that's going to be able to help you out in this setup next on top of that we have mike why is mike here mike is here the same reason why Vance is here for control. When you have an infection team, you want to be able to control the defensive side of the playing field because you don't want them to go off. So what Mike's gonna do, he's gonna apply that hill reduction. He's gonna also give infection as well. Vance is going to taunt a line. And then when Mike rushes, you know when you go to look at mike rush when he rush mike's gonna taunt two enemies for up to two turns as well too so you're gonna have that there and then vance on his signature move he taunts two enemies he taunts a line there as well right when he rushes he revives people as well as give hp to his teammates so you have these guys there for the bulk of your control because you're going to need them to be able to control the battlefield next on this list is christmas carol why is she there christmas carol is going to help with reflect damage so in this team with roadie may not be so but guess what if i'm using hanging in this team and he goes turn one Ref, you know to reflect damage from some of these vengeance tune and payback tunes and 
X, Y, and Z, you know, you have all this stuff coming in. Carol is going to be able to help out with that. She is a very, very good, very, very good assistant to him. So what you'll see here is when she makes a critical attack against the enemy for 350% damage, three other teammates recover from burn and bleed. So if one of them try to stick a Zachary on that other team or a burn tune on that other team, what's going to happen is if it's set up for turn one, Carol's going to cleanse that. She's going to help out with that there. And then on her rush, she does 600% damage to a line of enemies. Those enemies get negative 35% defense, you know? So she really does help out there. And where she really signs is that when attacking 100% chance to heal one other teammate by 60%. And on top of that, at the start of each turn while on the attacking team, she gives each of your teammates camouflage. So this is going to work out in her favor as well. And she could keep herself alive because when she does a critical attack, she is going to be able to cleanse herself. So this is a setup that you can be able to use. Hey, if you want to go a different route, you don't have to use Carol. If you're not planning on using Rhodey, you can kind of switch it up and put in another tune in Carol's stead, such as Thanksgiving Dale. So there you have it, man. This is the setup. Let me know. What you what you doing with the setup? Let me see how it's uh, working out for you. You know, go try it against some of the, you know, raids in your district and everything like that in your region. Just let me see what it what's about. Let me know, man. This your boy just call me text. Hit that like, subscribe, notification bell, man. Peace.